We're rolling. Okay. Hey everyone, I just got this deep sea setup today. Not really a deep sea setup, but a surface. Start over. We're rolling. <laughs> I just picked up a, a surf rod fishing setup from Walmart. It's the uh, pin wrap, uh, you know, surf fishing setup. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put line on it and how much line you should put on it. So I went with Berkeley Trialing Big Game Mono. It's a pretty thick mono. It can handle just about any big fish out there. I'm not worried about the line cutting because if I am fishing for anything with teeth, I have specific rigs set up for that. I have shark rigs with metal beaters, all that good stuff. So really uh, for the backing and for the majority of the spool besides the leader that I tie on, I want this Berkeley Big Game Trialing because I totally have full faith in this line that it's super durable and that it's able to wrangle in those monsters that I hook on the beach. So I'm gonna leave it right here in the sink in these grooves and it's gonna go just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to get this started. You don't wanna start with the bail down. You wanna start it with the bail up. Cause when you put the line on there and it gets to going, the bail's gonna come down and catch that line. You do it when the bail isn't there, it's not even gonna let you do it. So bail up first. You're gonna tie your typical fisherman's knot so I'm just gonna do one or two uh, loops, put it in the loop that I made. I made another loop, put it in that one. Pull your tag in and pull on your anchor. And just like that, you wanna get it tight. Right about here, if it'll cut. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so now you're gonna do that. Hold a little bit of tension until you get the spool going. And then you just slowly reel it so you can keep tension on it. Let that line build up on it. Okay, so if you want a quick, easy way to get line off of your reel, you just tighten your uh, drill around the spool and then you uh, pretty much just go in reverse. Put your drag all the way down and then just go to town. So. I didn't like the way this line was getting put on there. It was getting put on there kind of loose. And when line is loose like that, especially with mono on a spinning reel, it's not so much as a line that's a braid on a spinning reel, but more so mono. When mono is loosely spooled onto a spinning reel, it totally leaves plenty of room for error, especially when it comes to line twists. Line twists are gonna happen so easily and it's gonna be the difference between a good day of fishing and a bad day of fishing. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I stopped a little bit far away from the edge. Typically on a smaller reel, you're gonna to wanna to like hug the edge of that a little bit more. That's how you're gonna know that you have plenty of line on here. Personally for me, I know that I have at least 200, 250 yards of this on here. I know I'm not gonna need all that line, but the thing is with this thick line, you're gonna throw it out there and half the time you're gonna reel it back in and it's not gonna be near as tight as when you put the line on there. So you wanna leave a little bit of wiggle room because when I throw this out there and reel that line back in and it's not as tight, I know that it's gonna be close to the edge on its own. So if I would've kept going and filled it up to the edge tight and then threw it out there and reeled it back in, the line would be overlapping the edges and it would just be a, a, a wild mess, honestly. So it's always good to leave a little room Think about it, you know, you have 250 yards of line, that's two and a half football fields. You're really not gonna need that much line unless you're fishing off a freaking freighter or, you know, a gigantic beach where you can somehow get a drone out there to the tuna or whatever you're fishing for offshore while surf fishing. So that's pretty much a crash course on how much line to put on a reel, how to get the line started on the reel, why it's important to keep the line tight on the reel and also knowing when to stop putting line on a reel. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, took something away from this video. I hope you learned something. I had fun making the video. We got some bloopers in there. So yeah, feel free to uh, tune back in. I'm gonna be uploading videos a lot more. And thanks for watching. Hey there. Don't mind me. Some of you are still reeling. Say, uh, while I'm working on this, why don't you go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. Maybe give me a thumbs up if you feel uh, courteous to do so. I might do tons of more videos like this, like how to, how to catch fish, how to rig up your poles. Stay tuned to my channel. You might like what you see. Oh, hey there. Don't mind me, I'm still over here really. Say, uh, you know, if you like my channel, you like my content, feel free to give me a subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. 
Post it on Facebook. Some other random form of advice I'm encouraging you to do. Regardless though, I hope you enjoyed this video. And in the end, subscriptions, comments, likes, they don't really matter to me. I just want you to watch this video and to learn something and be able to take something away from it so you can have fun fishing. Yet again, thanks for watching my channel.